Hey dudes and dudettes, this is Mr. A. and welcome to Let's Play Colot, a game based on the Dietlov's past story. Um, it's, it's, a, it's an event that happened many, many years ago on Colot Mountain in Russia. Uh, some weird things happened, it was, it was insane. And um, yeah, so I think we should just get started anyway. New game. Loading screen! Yeah! Okay, here we go. 56 years ago, Russia, yes. the northern Ural Mountains. A group of nine students of the Ural Polytechnic Institute embarked upon a difficult winter expedition to reach the Otorten Mountain. Yep. There's actually ten, but one of the girls to turned back. According to plan. However, on the seventh day of their trip, the weather conditions worsened. I think. They lost their orientation and were forced to set up a camp on the slope of the mountain called Kolat Siakl. That's it, Siakl. It was their last stop. I'm gonna let him narrate. Three weeks later in Yekaterinburg, when their families received no word of their success, the first rescue expeditions were sent. On February 25th, 1959, an abandoned encampment was found. The tent was torn down and covered with snow, with all the group's belongings left inside. Further examination revealed it was cut from inside out. The surrounding footprints indicated the crew had fled the tent. They were barefooted. This suggests a frantic escape, characteristic of people scared out of their wits. Mm -hmm. Two sets of prints led to a forested area down the slope. The rescue team found an improvised fireplace and two bodies. They were lying in but their underwear, with cuts and scratches to their limbs, suggesting they had tried to climb the tree in panic. What could terrify them so much? The next three bodies were found scattered a few hundred meters from the first discovery. One of them had suffered a fractured skull, this despite no evidence of a struggle. That's actually a drawing of the picture that was taken. The spring thaw, two months later, to enable the rescue team to find the rest of the victims. The last four skiers were found buried in a thick layer of ice and snow. Their autopsies led to even more bizarre findings. All of the bodies had severe internal injuries caused by an undetermined force, similar to that of a serious car accident. No external damage nor bruises were visible, besides a tongue ripped from one victim's mouth and a strange orange skin color. Much speculation <coughs> arose from these puzzling events. <coughs> Such theories included attack from the local tribesmen, from an avalanche or animals. Each theory, however, only served to create more questions. Mm -hmm. The truth behind this tragic course of events remains unexplained to this day. What really happened? Maybe the answer still waits to be discovered deep under the snow. Under the snow. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of fluctuating frames from that. Oh, act one. It was going from like 30 to 40 for some reason on a freaking drawing. And now I'm at 50. Oh. This game is beautiful. Unfortunately, I'm going to turn down the graphics. So just a second. All right, we're back. So I put a, I put a little crosshair in the middle just in case. I don't know what that is. Okay, so I can zoom in with my vision. Can out. Oh. Can I run? I can crouch. Even on medium. I'm playing on medium. Again, I'm, all I have is a 750 Ti, which is pretty decent considering the graphics that it's uh, working with. And it's not even my computer, so. Anyway. Oh, you can run. Okay, alright. Can't do anything there. Ooh, I'm already excited. I, I This game makes me miss winter. I wish this was released in the winter so it can actually be snowing. I actually just finished playing Monster Hunter uh, 4 Ultimate, the storyline. And at the end of the storyline, it starts raining because the Kushala Dior comes in. Anyway, if you don't know what Monster Hunter is, check it out on my channel. It's a really great game. But uh, it's actually raining here now, so... I like, the, I like, I like having my actual real-world... Uh, weather similar to what the games are. That's why I like Animal Crossing, it changes. Where do I go from here? You can't jump. Quite the beautiful game. Oh, wow. So I guess we just go through here. Oh, what's going on over here? That's the train we got off of, I assume? This actually reminds me of the vanishing of Ethan Carter. 
Um, actually, it reminds me of it a lot. I wish there was some sort of notification or... Look at that. Some sort of uh, indication where to go. You know, this is actually the first horror game I've ever played that takes place in, in a snowy environment. So I'm pretty excited about that, because the, the winter can be pretty fucking scary. Um, so I'm kind of excited to see what this game pulls out for us. But so far, a whole lot of nothing. Can I crouch under this? I cannot crouch under that. Oh, hello. This is a pretty clear path. Are you coming to me? Oh. Coming to what? Sorry, I had to fix my position in the chair. This is already pretty spoopy. Oh. Into a cave? I don't know why everything just went black and white. Oh! Oh. In the end, the only thing I saw was a flash. An insufferable burning light. The pain ripping apart my body. I felt it tearing out of my soul. After a while, I was nobody. Nothing. Nothing. The light went out and I vanished into overwhelming darkness. Right. Oh, hello. Found a camp. Press A. I guess to go in the tent. I am right behind you. What do you mean you're right behind me? Okay, that compass is going cray cray. Cray cray! Okay. Oh. Loading screen! Yeah! Act two. Have you ever tried to hold on to your humanity? No. When others convince you of being no more than a subject, an object, which they can bend to their will. No. When they told you that you were a monster who deserved punishment, and you could really not remember your sins. When they took away your loved ones, leaving you to rot in the dark. Oh. The Hello, footprints. In their darkness, you have never been alone. I'm not sure what that narrative, or not narrative, but uh, narration has it. I'm not sure what it has to do with the actual story, but I know the footprints were a thing. Running, focus, flashlight. Y for the map, R for the compass. Hmm. B to crouch. Okay, so I can run like so. Map. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, this map is going to be insane to, to traverse. Okay, whatever. Um... Wow. This is pretty. This is really pretty. But anyway, um. What's going on? Can I touch this? A, pa a page. I set out the moment I heard about these. It's all in Russian. I was going to say, I can't read that. It's in the area, so reported to the unit myself to be automatically assigned to the case. Hmm. I arrived at Vichai on February the 19th, a couple of days before the Institute's rescue group. While waiting for them, I started asking around to see if anyone from among the locals knew anything about the incident. One of them said he had a hunting cabin in the search region and knew the area very well. I decided to use him as a guide. When the rescue team had finally arrived, I explained to them what the unit's role was in this mission and that all discoveries or observations should be brought to my attention before anyone else's. We established priorities, checked the equipment and set off right away. It was not until February the 26th we found the tent that I believe belonged to the students. 
Initial findings show that the people in the tent cut its side wall <coughs> and for some reason tried to escape from it in panic. The tracks in the snow led to a forest a kilometer and a half away. But the trail went cold after 500 meters and we had to carefully search the entire area. This was not a place of any average incident. We had shivers crawling all over our bodies because of the atmosphere surrounding us. I was convinced that something more than just an accident had occurred here. I had the feeling we were dealing with something unnatural. Okay. Right bumpers for diary, reports, articles. All right, we're good. Oh, God. What? I'm going to go now. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for know that! Okay, hi. Got me. Whoa, hey, whoa. Oh, God! Do I follow this? I guess I have to go in each direction. I don't know. I don't remember anything about a meteor in the, uh... In this actual story. Um... Even good. Great. See, I don't exactly know where I am from the, from, from the map. Wait. Wait, so I'm not there. Am I here? I don't see a legend. I don't know. I'm gonna be lost a lot, I, I can tell that already. It's a stick! Nice! Oh. Oh, oh, getting a bit of jitters. I'm gonna have to turn down the graphics some more, I guess. Alright, not everything is on low. The textures are still high, but whatever. I, I'm trying to save up to get a, my new gaming PC, but that's gonna take a very long time. Um, and I still have to pay off debt and stuff like that. So, it'll, it'll be a while until I have a really good gaming PC, but eventually I'll be able to play all of these games at the max, max, max graphics, 60 FPS, 1080p, and upload it just like that. For you guys, I want to make you guys the best quality videos I possibly can, but for right now, I'm doing what I can with what I got. And don't, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful for what I got, because if I didn't have what I have, I wouldn't be able to even be here. So much spoopy! Oh, there's something up ahead. Okay, this is the forest. There's that orange mist crap that me and Vox- Oh yeah, me and Vox were discussing what this orange stuff was. Um, me and Vox were- Or Vox and I were watching the trailer for this game. We saw this orange mist and we had no idea what it could be. I thought it was just really ugly particle effects for fire, but it's that doesn't seem to be the case. I, th I guess I should avoid it. I don't know. I don't even know who I am. Is I I, I, can, I can assume that this is way after the events occur uh, occurred. I'm assuming this is maybe modern day. What am I doing? Oh. Well, I can't really analyze that. Analyze. Analyze. I don't even know what that said. Okay, wait, there's still that red thing over there. So I'm, I'm gonna have to go there eventually. Wait, what? Ooh, what's that? This kind of feels almost Blair Witch Project-y. We discovered the first bodies by the pine trees. A makeshift campfire suggested they tried to warm up. The bodies were only in underwear. I decided to thoroughly search the area between the tent and the tree line. I discovered the other bodies every few hundred meters apart, 
Mm. The position indicated the victims attempted to return to the tent as fast as they could. This could mean that the threat was gone and the group decided to go back to the tent, uh -huh. or just the opposite. <clears throat> Someone or something appeared from the forest and forced its victims to run. At this point, it is difficult to determine what exactly happened. I have collected small samples from all bodies for further research at the unit's laboratory. I discussed this situation with the rest of the rescue team, and afterwards, they focused on the visual inspection of the tent and areas by the trees, and I entered the forest. Okay, so that 1958 is when this actually happened, or at least a few years after, maybe a year or two. Um, Alright, so I guess this is a good place to leave it off. Actually, no, let's explore a little. Oh! What the f- Hello? What is that? Can I save? Okay, I, I don't know what that is. I kind of want to see what it is. It doesn't seem like it's coming after me. Oh god, okay, it is, it is, it is. Uh, okay. Continue. Alright, I'm gonna leave it off. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the adventure today. Share this video to help the growth of the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.